A passion for the past has taken Doc Rowe the length and breadth of Britain in search of the strange and the wonderful. Doc's a national expert on British folk customs. He's got a massive collection of archive material on the country's colourful traditions. Well, I've been interested for over 30 years. I've been collecting very consciously for about 25 of those, and I've been recording uh, oral testimony about the past. I've been collecting photographs of the present-day tradition and filming that of it as well on video. And so there's an enormous collection which has caught, come up and surprised me rather. So I have this in, amazing archive of material from all over the British Isles of things that are called calendar customs. And today, Doc travelled from Bristol to Annick in Northumberland to make a record of the Town Shrove Tuesday football match. Town crier Adrian Irons had some useful advice on problems Doc might face taking closer pictures of the match. I reenacted this about four or five years ago. So do you recommend me getting stuck in and take some photographs then? Well, if you see a great horde and muscle lads coming toward you, run. I wouldn't. I probably would. Probably yeah, you get would. with your camera and go <laughs> Right, thanks for the advice. <laughs> when it came to traditional features of the event, Doc wasn't disappointed. In keeping with time-honoured practice, the committee which organises the game met outside the gates of Annick Castle. The Duke of Northumberland, as is the custom, dropped the ball from the battlements and led by the Duke's piper, the crowd made its way down to the Lion Bridge and across the fields to the pitch. The game is played between Annex two parishes, St Michael's and St Paul's. There's a lot of enthusiasm, to say the least. I think it's very important. It's, it's all part of tradition and it helps the local community to, and brings everybody together. I mean, there's a great deal of, of competitive spirit about it between the two parishes and it, it's important to people that they win uh, and very important that they get the ball at the end of the match too. For historian Doc Rowe, the trip to Annick provided some interesting moments. Well, I've actually kicked the ball, but I think that was mainly for my own protection because I saw this horde of characters coming towards me. I thought the safest thing was to kick the ball out of the way and it worked. One of the strong things I take away is it's actually that, um, you know, the, the, the generosity and the friendship. I mean, the people I've been speaking to are really, I mean, they, apart from seeing me as an absolute crazy foreigner who's travelled all that, that distance, I mean, it's, it's a great part of the world. I just wish I could stay a bit longer, then I've got to shoot off back. And, uh, but I'll be back. I'll be soon. Hopefully on another Shrove Tuesday. And incidentally, we've just had word of the final score. The game was 1-1-0 by the parish of St. Michael's. You can't say we don't keep you informed, eh? <laughs>